not done a video in quite a while. Um, and I'm now on month eight now of having dreadlocks. You can see they've changed a lot. I have lots of loops, as you can see, especially that one. And lots of these ones under here are quite. I'll show you the back. Sorry, my hair's a bit of a bit of a mess today. I've got some different coloured ones and stuff. Yeah, so it's yeah been eight months now. It's gone really fast. For all those people who have like just started and like you're worried about what your hair's gonna do, whether like in the first couple of months I was scared that like, you know, my hair wasn't gonna dread at the roots and because it wasn't doing anything, but you just have to be patient, like having dreadlocks is a, it's about patience and you know watching it change if you if you can change with the hair then it's perfect for you like oh yes i also have shampoo one moment I would recommend Dr. Bronner's shampoo. This is amazing, this stuff. It's a pure cast oil soap and it's made with organic oils. It's got um, organic coconut oil, um, olive oil, organic fair deal hemp oil, organic jojoba oil and natural almond fragrance. It smells amazing. And I've had this for quite some time now. You can see how much, wait, you can't see how much. You can see how much I've used. I got it not very long after I made the last video. Um, yeah, this will last me a very long time. But basically, you need about a 50p size, maybe more. It depends how, how much hair you've got. And you pop that in a cup and fill it to the top with water. Swirl it around and pop that on your head and rub it in and that's literally all you need it is amazing it's the best shampoo i've ever had in my life and it's uh yeah it's it's very very friendly it's friendly to the earth mm. strangely what i it says here absolute cleanliness is godliness you can't read it the writing's really really tiny but it has a lot of uh, cool facts on here it's mainly religious but that's what you're into but there you go my dreadlocks of eight months i love them i would never go back and basically you just need to be patient and stop worrying because they will do their thing i've not put anything in my hair i didn't start them with wax i literally did the twist and rip method now that I'm eight months in, I personally would have changed and done. Um, I would have. I would have done back home and the crochet. I mean, I crochet now, but the process would have been quicker. I personally think so. Yes, it's up to you which method you choose, but don't give up. Persevere with them, love them, and have faith in them. Goodbye.